Welcome back, people. We're doing more Space Haven Alpha 12. And my god, I think we're actually getting somewhere. We've got power going for the energy rod power. We've got the hyperdrive engine, so we have thrust. We actually have quite a bit now. I think we're just waiting on this to get juiced, maybe? Because these should be 1600 per, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm missing a little bit there. As soon as this thing is online, I guess. Strange. Looks like we have a little temperature issue back here. I can fix that. Uh, I think my, one of my ideas was to throw like a spacesuit locker here and here. So anybody going through here would have to do a little something different. A little something something. Hmm. Okay, well, what else are we doing? Nothing right here. Besides stripping the last little bits down. Look at the robots go. Old Marvins and uh ANCAP. Got two ships coming in. Yeah, we had a little bit of a chat in the <laughs> in the comments of episode two, I think. But what if we did a ship, like a single one fur? Or a two fur, but maybe a one fur, that just had a pilot? and all the robots and then they went out and worked I guess the issue is you need some kind of uh, shuttle system to do that but we'll see I bet you could do something with that that could be fun we'll see we're just about done researching the CO2 producer and as soon as we have that it is we're gonna slap it in here we're gonna move all the power stuff into here to cover all that yeah buddy well, here comes two ships, <laughs> and a third soon. That's a big mamma jamma, the Vorga. You get the little Orcanium. It's interesting is you don't see too many ships out there that are running on, like, the crappy engines. They're all really high-end stuff. I think that's interesting. I don't think I really need to trade anything unless I want to sell some stuff. I'll sell a couple of these just to gain a little bit of rep. Start with that. How's the cultist ship doing? What do they want? Is there anything I have in high quantities that they want? Oh, soft blocks? Yeah, I'll sell you those. Just offload like 10. Well, there's another military ship that dropped in right there, the Meadowhawk. What would they like? Actually, they're going to give me quite a bit for this. I'll, I'll definitely sell you that stuff. What do I want to buy off of you? I could buy a couple of these crystals, but I don't think I need to. I need weapons, but they're not really willing to sell weapons, it would seem. Hmm. I guess I'll just make a little bit of money off you, because I can always use more money. Story of my life. All right, we're up to 4,800, so I'm going to start activating sketches. Let's go with this guy well yeah let's go with this guy let's get this whole side up and running cool I'm thinking back here oh I, I was thinking about doing like solar panels but it looks like I'm not gonna have enough room huh I can make a huge battery bank back here that could work or I can make this into the prison, and then they have to live back here in the engine exhaust. You go live in the brig back there. That might be a good idea. That may be an idea. We'll see. We'll see what we do. We're going to get another shuttle here. We're going to get another airlock on this side. That way there's a little more throughput. This side, I'm going to put another one of these here. And, uh, well, we'll just keep expanding. So if I look at this, and I was to put a power capacity node right here, it doesn't quite cover those guys. If I go right here, it does. But now I can't put my CO2 generator there. Hmm. Yeah, 
It's going to be a tough call. I think I'm going to have to do a corridor here. Although I wanted to keep that open. Put windows here and there all, the, all over the place. Uh, that's right. I'm going to put a window here because I just want to give it a little bit of the light. I'm going to do a forfer. Uh, maybe? Is that going to work? I think that is going to work. There we go. We'll give it a bunch of light. Yeah, buddy. Unreachable task. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, that's somebody doing a different whistle. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> Apparently he can't reach that, so that ain't gonna happen. Not for now, anyways. Okay. We've traded with everybody. They're out of here. We're done with this ship, pretty much. So that means we're ready to go. Oh, look at that. We got a CO2 producer. Oh, nice. Let's focus on... What? Mm hmm. Probably need to get the chemical refinery up and running. Just because I really need plastics and fertilizer and all that goodness. It's coming up. Okay. So, let's go to... Is that food? That is food. We're gonna chuck this thing in here. And as soon as we have that, which we can't get because we don't have any tech blocks. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. We're gonna look at our airlocks too. So that's over here. Bam, and we'll do a little bit of storage right next to it. Want to get power go down here. But that's how it goes. Let's get to jumping. Because we're ready. Born ready. Off we go. Alright, so what are we doing here? That's right, we cleared this last time. We're gonna go get this claimable and strip it down to nothing. And then after we do that, we'll get going. That'll get us our tech blocks, hopefully. Alright, team one looks like they're ready. So I'm gonna have them get on their shuttle. And we're gonna rock some faces off. Let's dock you. I guess out here in the open. Might clear it as soon as you get out of the shuttle. Oh no, you won't. Oh no, Kool-Aid man. Just gonna blast all those fools. Team one. Oh, you got a hauler. He just hatched. Two hatched. Let's get you back here, please. Come on, you got it. Mark, don't die on me. Pull back, Mark. Well, there we go. That works. I like your stance there, old Hein. Nice. Let's get you guys back here. Actually, Mark, just go sit on the ship. The last of them eggs. I'm just going to clear that and we're done. There we go. We'll undraft you. We'll go ahead and... If you didn't know, if you abandon this, you only get scrap. It's like anything. But if you claim it, now you can dismantle these and regain all, regain all the stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and dismantle everything on this ship the old-fashioned way. A little pro tip for you here in a sec. If you come in... You click on this and you go to settings, turn off auto clean and turn off auto resource. That way they won't deliver anything and you don't have to worry about feeding this any energy rods or anything and them just going to waste. But we're going to strip this down, we're going to get a whole bunch of goodness out of it. And we're going to transfer everything over and then we're going to run. <laughs> Good job. Good job. And Cap, get her done. Oh yeah, look at all that start to transfer that slowly trying to build this am I okay that's just the walkway I thought I had screwed it up and jetted that out all right let's go to power actually first let's do the important part let's get the wall let's get the windows in I'm trying to line it up I don't want to dork that up 
Okay, looks like I did a smaller one, so we'll do that. Boom, there we go. That'll look good. Let's go to power. Slap that thing right there. Let's go ahead and add more windows, because we need those things. Crucial. They're crucial, man. Gotta have them. How are we doing on energy cells at this point? 87, so we're starting to cut into our supply. Starting to. Waiting on some whole blocks, it seems. How are we doing on this? We got a few we're gonna get out of that. Not bad. So I guess what I could do is just strip this thing down to nothing and get hull scrap, but I have a lot of hull scrap, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I think all I'm gonna do is just transfer what I have on here over to here and then get moving. Let's link this thing into this. Nice. Well, we're producing CO2 and that seems to be doing quite well. Oh, that's funny, there's a bunch of CO2 trap back there. Uh, we're at 25, 27, 34, we actually have more in here. Interesting. Oh, well, we got our plants going, they're doing pretty good. We just need that, that good, good fertilizer. Okay, let's go to life support and we'll start lining this hallway with these. Give me a little, little bit of heat. Let's go to airlock. Let's go to shuttle hangar. Oh no, do I have to expand that one more? Because that one goes to the wall, so I do need one more, don't I? Crap. Sketch that out one more. This is always a little bit of a test retest kind of thing. Look at that, we got some storage going. Okay, now we can do the shuttle hangar. There we go. Are we done transferring? We are. Let's get moving. Leave that. Leave the Thebe behind. The Thebe. Tebe. And Tebe. Not a bad place. If you ever need to go on a little vacation to Africa and you decide to go there, I recommend Uganda. It's quite nice if you're looking for East Africa. It's a lot of food. It's fairly secure-ish. Whatever. Uh, let's go over here. I can't remember if I've already cleared this or not. I think I did. I think I did. So let's just drop in here. We'll loot all this, then we'll come down here, grab that, make our way up to this one, and we'll do the loot. So let's drop in real quick and hit this stuff. Okay, good. These are kind of rare now, or they get used quite frequently. Team One, how you doing? I know how you're doing. You're about to go shoot things. <laughs> All right, this is coming together. That's trying to warm it up. Let's see how it's doing. It's getting there. It'll radiate out. It'll be fine. We got this. It's feeding these. We can get another pod going too. I think that's fair. Let's go clear this derelict vessel. Let's drop in right here in the middle. This gives us the opportunity to potentially get flanked, unfortunately, but we also can see quite a bit more. Whoa, there's a crew member. Alberti, you're the kind of science guy. Go get him. Everybody else pull security. Take a knee. Take a knee. You do it. Oh, he pivoted and fired. Go. Florence. Let's get you on the shuttle. Stat. We'll uh, deal with you in a minute. Then we'll clear the rest of the ship. Let's get you out of here. Go. Blast those fools. I think we're pretty much clear on this ship. Nobody. And I think we're done. Nice. The Ultra Ozzap. 
Let's take all that, throw it over here. Let's grab at least the tech and energy. That's really all I need at this point. Cool. Well, who do we have? It's the one, actually, industry medical gunner. That's quite, quite good. And they got an iron stomach. They were a driller. Well, you know who this is? This is a one wheelie. Welcome back. Welcome back to the party, wheelie. I'm going to look at your skills right here. Uh, obviously, very low priority on that. You're going to do industry. You can do mining. You're not going to do these things. No botany, construction, or maintenance. But you'll do medical. And you can get on guns. Yeah. There we go. I think eventually I'm going to turn this off and see how we can get along. Because I think these guys can scoop up their buddies if they go down. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to find out eventually. Alright. So we're waiting on a couple of hull blocks for that. We just need to get scrapping done. Should go fairly well, I think. But I think if I do power here, and I do power here, or at least power here, maybe power down here. I don't know. Maybe down here and here? <laughs> this is a tough call. Because I can't quite reach this, which will be an issue. And I'm just trying to think, like, do I need an access corridor here going along this to fill in this gap? Or do I leave the gap? Because I kind of like having the gap there. I think I'm just going to have to have, a, like, a little power storage in here and not a big mamma jamma. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to put like a power capacity note up here just to store power locally. Ooh, we're out of bug, bug butts. You're set for biomatter. Are we just churning through that stuff? Yeah, it looks like we are. Wow. You guys are good with the poo. <laughs> so my intent is to mirror this on this side effectively. Like mirror all this. And maybe have a double chill room here. But I still need a medical facility. I need a prison. I need... I think that's mostly it, right? Because industry is all going to go on these wings here. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be fine. Looks like temperature is good over here. Let's start getting another logistics bot. Robots. Get over here. Cool. We'll get that going and we'll start building this out. Oh, here comes another military ship. How are we doing on this? Are we about done? No. Not even close. We got tons of stuff to mine, too. Where's old Wheelie at? Is he on the first shift? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. First shift is fine for them, I think. But okay, I'm gonna let them do their thing and then I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, the Star Sapphire has jumped in. Let's see what they've got. Couple of pistols. I mean, I, got, I could buy those, I guess. I don't have any weapons. I don't have anything I wanna trade them right now. You know, I'll trade you two of these just to make a little bit of money and gain some reputation. Mining is going okay. Let's look at the map real quick. So we are going to come down here, hit this, get the ice, and then scoot our way back up here. Maybe do some recce here. We'll see. We'll see. Running out of Hyperium, but I have nine right here, so we're good on that front. I may start adding their shift numbers because I like how that organizes people. Makes it easier for me to find them. One thing I've noticed, so I've actually started writing down when people joined. And it looks like, so the first guy we found was, let me expand this out real quick. Look at my spreadsheet. I'm, I'm actually thinking about going over to an access database instead because I'm a nerd. Uh, but anyways, 
So it looks like Mark Little was the first guy we found at 20 days. And then uh, Gerald was 51. And then Wheelie was 61. So it's kind of anywhere from like, I don't know, it looks like 30 days to 10 days. So that's interesting. For finding people, that is, anyways. And derelicts. So I'm going to start building out these walls just to keep this going. And we'll go back to here. Yeah, we're not quite there. Let's go back to that one. Okay, well, I'm just waiting on these guys to mine and do things, and then I'll come back to you when they're done. So here's a thought. What if I redesigned this and bump this out one? I don't think that would do anything for me. Hmm. If I did this, I could make this a twofer, and then I could put my power capacity node here. And let's look at this. Let's look at this. If I go to power, I go to this. If it's here, it covers most of that. If it's here, yeah. Okay, that could work. That could work. So I just need to bump this back one more. So let me delete that. We're gonna try something. We're gonna experiment, because why not? I'm waiting on people to do things anyways. Um, well, let's uh, leave that, and then we'll delete this. I'll see what I can get away with. If I do this and bump this in, I will have to... Hmm. Yeah, if I bump this in, I will have to move this back, or I'll have to like cut this in and it'll look a little weird. We'll see how this goes. I think I'm generally fine with the logistics of this for now. Alright, so this juts out a little bit. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. And if I move this, well, let's double check this. Let's look at the power. See, we're problem solving, man. This is actually what I get paid to do for the most part, is solve problems. Uh, yeah, I think that'd work. And if we put another one like up here, I think we'd be fine. We'd have more than enough coverage. I think that'll work. By God, I think we've got it. Okay. This will, keep a, this will keep certain people happy. <laughs> It'll keep people happy with what I'm doing. Okay. That's good. Then people can still get around. Okay. So we're going to do this. And then we'll chop out that guy. And it'll give me room to put something in here. Like maybe a water vapor collector? Uh, I forgot about those later. Okay, cool. Cool. The problem now, though, is I don't have a vent. <laughs> hmm. What if... Okay, what if I were to do this? Because this would work, then I could put the vent here, and then here, and then I just have this here. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm on board now, I'm on board. Let's go ahead and cancel this, let's move this to here yeah I think we got it now I think we're on to something okay so now we're gonna do a power node here that will cover all that and then we're gonna do life support and event well how about that how's about that now we're talking now we're cooking with gas all right, waiting on stuff. See, we got all this stuff done and I was just blabbing away about design things, trying to solve problems. Cool, let's get moving. And we are gonna jump. Here we go. Uh, I wanna go down here. We'll get a little recon at that point. There's nothing. I'm gonna jump up here, see what we got going on. Does this connect? No, okay, so we have to go all the way back that way. 
but we're gonna mine this real quick. I barely least need that ice. <laughs> that's, that's one of the key things I need. Sweet. Let's go ahead and mine that, and a little bit of that, and some of that. Man, we're going through this stuff. I don't even know where we're using it, but we are using it, it would seem. Yikes. Are you stuck? What are you doing there, Ancap? Okay, this guy I'm going to jack into... Ooh, he may not be close enough. Hmm. So here's the thing, right? Obviously, this power needs a whole rework, and it's going to happen, just not right away. So I do want to push these out here. At the very least, I want to get all of my power nodes out of the living quarters and out of the food production. That way, if there's a fire, it's easily contained. I can just close the vents and we can deal with it. That's my goal anyways. The question is, does this cover everything if I've used these? I don't think it quite does. Not in the center. Hmm. I will need one up here. So what I'm going to do is go to power. And we'll slap one of these guys around here. Maybe right here. That'll do for now. Good deal. How are we doing out there? Slowly mining. Ever so slowly. So now that we have logistics and salvage bots, does that mean we're going to get mining bots eventually? This whole thing could be expanded out quite a bit. It's like this, to this, and to this. And then we're going to delete this guy. Yep. And that will do just fine. Let's get this guy kind of like re... reconfigured. Let's look at... Walls. Oh, you know what I could do? I could colorize the roof based on the function of the room. Oh, man, that could be cool. Or it could be something. I don't know. I feel kind of like having the padded room style makes the most sense for this. Let's look at the floors. Does green look good? I think green looks good. <laughs> or something. Whatever. If you don't like it, get right. Because I do. I would like to put windows here, so I may strip this down and throw the window in and then come back to this. Let's throw a little bit of wall on this. Alright, so we're coming in. Do I want to replicate what I've got here? Just give me a nice little closet to work with. It might be a good idea and then put a door here just so they can pass through if they need to and keep it, keep it airlocked. Not quite airlocked, but at least the vent closed. Because it seems to be holding it back just fine. So the issue, I guess, looking at this, is... This is at the end of the chain going through the industry area, which means... This is always going to be out of power. So I gotta fix that. Poop. <laughs> it's always something. It's always something. So my intent eventually is to have... A few solar powers that are feeding a power capacity node or two or three or whatever a battery bank essentially uh, and then that will be the power that this draws off of it won't draw off the actual main grid the only thing this will be powering will be the main line critical systems that's my goal I think that'll work fairly well I wonder if I should put a second vent here just to really get that flow going. That might be a good idea because they're getting kind of low in O2 up here. Hmm. I really need to build this part out. So, we got a lot of stuff we need to do. We need a lot of whole blocks to do it too. So, we're getting there. It'll be fine. We got this fancy pants window here. I like that. Let's look at this room. Start working the uh, walls and stuff. Do I want this to be red? 
Whatever happened to the yellow walls? Those got poofed, it looks like. Or do you just get to change the color of this? I mean, blue is kind of the new thing, it looks like. I'll go ahead and blue this up. <laughs> get blued. Uh, I guess what I can do is, yeah, we had it as a red room. I kind of like that. The red bridge. Um, this will be all industrial. We'll make this industrial. I do want to seal this off eventually. I don't know that I need this anymore, do I? I mean, that is covering some things, but eventually we're going to seal this off. So we might as well start doing that over here. As you can tell, I'm very easily sidetracked <laughs> by this stuff. Okay. So we got three so far. If I come over here and I go like this, and then this, and then we do a door right here, that'll seal off that room and the same intent here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Cool. Accidents. Yeah, so I gotta fix this. I don't like that the power is trickling that way. I'd like its own separate power spline. Yeah, I do have this in here, which I realize is not ideal. <laughs> I am aware. But you do need some power covering these center corridors. I'm not gonna be able to put them all in their own closeted spaces. Just a flaw in the central spline design. I could make a maintenance corridor that goes down here and then bump this out a little bit differently. That could work. Depressurize it, but I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Let's try a little something. Am I still waiting on mining? Yeah, I still am, so... We're gonna go to this. I'm going to try to figure this out. Let's paint this. I wanna do some roof roof art. I wanna draw that stuff. Oh, oh. Oh, you can move the whole pattern? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Whoa. All right, so this'll be a nice green room. Let's paint this whole thing. Let's try this. I think this will be cool. And, uh, well, I think it just goes all the way over here. So really it goes to here and then bumps back. Do I want the corridors to be this color is the question. Let's paint all this. Yeah, I'm fine with most of that coming up that way. We'll paint this that same color. We'll do the same over here. And we'll see what it comes of this. I'm going to paint this chunk the same. And I guess what we'll do is we'll make this all like... Orange for industry, maybe? Let's try that. This is fun. <laughs> Good times. Just painting, just painting my ship, don't mind me. Paint all that back to about here here, because that seems about right. I think this might just look like somebody vomited all over my ship, but you know what? That's okay. That is okay. We'll make... Should I make this red? I mean, I could do, like, cool stripes and stuff instead, but... I'm gonna make this room red because it's the bridge. Apparently I don't have a window on that side. What kind of madness is that? Who doesn't put windows? This guy, apparently. Well, you can get like a weird, like... I don't know. 
Native American kind of vibe if you had like just the pies on there. Let's do the corridors as blue because we're doing blue. So it'll at least be this. I don't know if any of this makes sense, but you know what? I don't care. Come on. Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm gonna keep painting and I'll come back to you in a minute. And <laughs> we'll see what this looks like on the back end. All right, so after a little painting, it does kind of look like vomit. <laughs> This give you kind of an idea where the corridors are though. So I kind of like that, I guess. What I thought what I could do is like a pattern for each room instead. Instead. So we're gonna leave it as looking like vomit for now while they finish mining. Fire. Oh man. Oh, at least it's in there. Not a big deal. NBD. All right, this is getting juiced. Right now our power is good. So we're not having many power issues except for apparently here. This thing is sucking down the juice. Uh, okay. I'm mining. I'm doing things. I'll come back to you in a minute. Well, we've just started the last two, so we're going to get ready to jump. And uh, as soon as they get back, we'll get out of here. Slowly making progress on stuff. Slowly. And away we go. We're going to come back up here, go this way, go up here. I guess keep on trucking and we'll just go straight to that other little offshoot sector. Keep trucking, man. We got tons of, tons of jumps. All right. I am going to go to the right and then we're going to start getting this stuff and then keep going through. Drop right in the middle. I'm gonna get ready to mine all of this. That's a very green ship. Is that the green beef? It is not. It's torpedo bait, which you know you could make me. <laughs> I, am, I am torpedo bait sometimes. Okay. Mark, you're gonna sit this one out just because you look a little rough. In you go. And then we're gonna go hit this at the airlock, because that's what I feel like doing this time. Not that I need to, but Mark's a little rough. So we're leaving him there, and then we'll just go from here, and we can always come back and hit the other sections. Oh, we got bugs. Nicely done. Incoming. It's a good pivot by Hein. Another crew member. My god. It's only day 65. Alberti's on it. Pull security. He's dead. Oh no. One human corpse. Incoming. Blast him. Nicely done, Alberti. Get into the hallway, please. Deal with that. So we got a data log for this dead guy. Hein just wants to go loot the stuff, apparently. Let's get up here while he's looting. We got a bug. It's incoming. He's dead. Let's go clear this and this, and we're done. The torpedo bait is ours. That poor dude is dead. Let's look at his uh, data log. Old Janet McMaster. Janet was completely oblivious to the events that were plaguing the ship as she was being rushed into a hypersleep chamber. As she slipped into her eternal sleep, she thought of her husband waiting for her to continue their lives. Well, Godspeed. I'm gonna loot all this crap, including Janet. Maybe I'll give her a little space funeral. I've done those a few times. They work out pretty good. I think they're kind of cool. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? This is not powered. Whoops, I guess that was a consequence. Of what I done. What I done did. Okay, so I need to rework a little bit of the power. Go figure. 
Let's go with a little power node right. I'm just going to do a small one right in there. And then I can always seal this off if I have to. Cool. I may chuck this over here in this little wall locker idea. So let's see. This is starting to come together. So if I have this and actually bump it out to here and then I delete this and then I delete that and I come in here and I go what is that one two one two so we'll put one here and here and then chuck a wall right there we'll get the same dimensions on this side and we can delete that guy Keep it going. Let's throw a wall right here while we're at it. Might as well build it all out where we can. Well, I'm starting to get a little heavy on this ship, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Getting up to 44, 48. Yeah, it's, it's shifting back and forth, but we're only like a couple hundred away from being at weight, and this may add to it. We'll see. I can always get one more engine. And I think we'll have plenty of thrust at that point to really take us places. Are we done with this? We are done with this. Let's jump, because that's what we do now. Now we're about to get another shuttle. Nice. Off we go. Zipping into space. All right, we're going to go hit this derelict. A lot of derelicts out here. I did bump up the frequency of those, because the whole idea is to salvage and scrap things as we go was a station cool well we're gonna build a craft I'm gonna have to power this somehow let's go to power this should cover pretty much everything I need team one is not quite ready Pretty soon, we're going to hit the day 100, and then we'll do a little crew analysis thing. Because that's fun. Oh, this needs to be jacked in. Great. I'm going to jack it into there. I'm going to snip this. So I'd rather everything go through the central spine of power here. I need to get a window there. That is three and three. Okay, we're good. Let's go with a nice window. Slap them right there. That way, people on the bridge can actually watch people coming into the ship. Oh, look at that. How, how do you like them apples? All right, team one, as soon as you wake up, it's time for you to go do stuff. Ooh, what did we get? The Sturm. All right, you guys are good enough. Go get on that shuttle and get to work. Time to go shoot things in the face. Oh yeah. How about right here? That looks like a great spot. If I had long guns, I would kind of walk it in from the outside, but that's not what I've got. We're just gonna blast them like crazy. There's no reason to just sit here and make you watch them shoot like a billion times, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna go grab that data log. Come on back, Alberti. Draw them in. And there we go. The fullness of time is ours. I'm going to strip everything down on this. I may leave the infra scrap. Just because there's probably food in that lovely little kitchen. So let's strip all this down. We'll just break it down and then we'll bring it all back. Cool. You need to get undrafted. Awesome. I'm going to slap one of those robots in here. Hmm. Hmm. So what I could do, it's all going through this is the problem. I'd rather have it go out to these and then come back in. So let's, let's kind of snip some of these connections. Oh, that's an issue. You know, I'll just have it go into that. It'll be fine. We'll really, really push this power. 
Uh, let me double check that. Make sure I didn't screw something up. It's still flowing through here. At least this way, it's all going to trickle back into itself. Get a little bit of a feedback loop going. Generally, those aren't good. But whatever. It's what we're dealing with. It's what we've got. I feel like this has been a fairly productive episode. We've got this all updated. We've got this fixed. So this is out of there. There's no power in here. It's all out of it. So that's cool. Uh, I'll probably bump this up a little bit. I think one CO2 producer is going to be enough for this, but I can put other things in here, like power capacity nodes. Um, what else? could also put the water vapor collector. That way it focuses on this area. It's a lot of options. A lot of options. Dudes are stripping this stuff down quite handily. Um, was there any food in the kitchen? No. Jeez, somebody ate the place out of the entire kitchen. Jeez. All right, we're finally getting some of this built. Just one at a time. That's weird. Why are you doing that? You should have more than enough to actually, like, knock out the whole thing. That's weird. Whatever. You dudes are strange. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, we're gonna throw a door there, and we're gonna seal it up as soon as they build this chunk. Which I don't know why it's taking so friggin' long. See there, that's what you're supposed to do. What a weenie. Oh no. Okay, it's, it's in there, it's fine. It's a non-issue. Let's go. Let's get this done. Alright, well, they should be able to get that here shortly. We'll see. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode there. We got some nice lighting in here. Mood lighting, if you will. We're just about done with the chemical refinery, which is really good, because we need that bad. And, uh, well, we'll build this stuff out next episode. Fill, finish filling this out with food production. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get moving. But hey, thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy, and, uh, I'll catch you next time.